Good morning, everyone. I thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me um, video. Very lax, very just go with the flow kind of energy. Um, I want to do more of these. I know this is not the most most viewed kind of video on my channel, but I want to share new products with you. And also, I want you guys to get to know the real me. So I thought this morning we would get ready with each other. If you're getting ready when you're watching this, you might not even see this in the morning, but I just thought it'd be a fun video to do. I recently hauled some things for Christmas and I wanted to try it on my channel. So some of these are first impressions, some are not. I'll let you guys know. Um, anyways, I hope you got your coffee or tea ready um let's get started i got my coffee um everything set up so let's get started first i'm gonna start out by grooming my brows um i got that cover girl pencil in soft brown so i'm gonna try that i really don't talk a lot um while i do my brows so i will just speed this clip up Oh, I really, really like this pencil. And for the price, ooh, honey. I might have to switch this thing up. All right, my brows are on. They're never twins. I don't even know if they're sisters. I think they're cousins. Um, I used to get my eyebrows threaded and that where I went just closed. They didn't give a girl no notice. No, hey, we're closing. Hey, we're changing locations. They didn't call anybody to cancel appointments. They just closed, no warning. And I'm very particular about my brows, so I found this spot that I might go to tomorrow and I'll let you know how that goes. But anyways, let's prime our eyes. Um, my lids are dry and oily at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but I'm going in with my MAC paint pot and soft ochre. But this is gonna be less about makeup, more about the chatting. You guys, it's 2020 and I have a lot of goals. I don't want to say resolutions. I have goals that I want to hit, that I'm going to hit or be close to hitting. And I just want to share some of that with you. I want to start by talking about careers or things that I want to do as far as uh, my career and my YouTube journey. Um, I would love to book more work as a freelance makeup artist. Um, I feel like once you are like in the field, um, it's like second nature and I feel a bit rusty. I just did a wedding um, two weeks ago and I had such a good time and um everybody was really happy with their makeup and i really miss that aspect of doing makeup like i love making other women feel beautiful when they don't um or they don't get glam very often or they don't see the beauty and their potential because i feel like makeup is all about enhancing your natural beauty not about changing yourself completely and if you want to change yourself completely you can but a lot of people don't know just with a few simple steps it really enhances their beauty and that can enhance someone's self-worth as well and I 
I really enjoy it. So I want to build up my kit this year. I want to book more work. I would love to intern with a makeup artist that does like work for uh, TV, film, photography, like real shoots. I would love to learn and do more of that. So I don't know if I'm going to complete all of that, but I want to complete some of that. So pray for me on that. I hope that I don't want to, I don't want to say I'm hopeful, but I just hope that I can do it. Like I know I can, I just have to believe myself, push myself, market myself, put myself out there. But I have, I suffer with a lot of anxiety. I know you hear that a lot on YouTube, but I do. And the fun fact for me is that I never used to. I was the fun, outgoing, social butterfly person. And I haven't been that girl or that woman in a long time. So I am working on that. Depression and anxiety is a real, real, real mind if, you know? Mm. Sorry, I have to have a little bit of coffee. Um, so I'm working on that this year. As far as my personal goals, that's my personal business work goals. But YouTube goals, oh man, oh man, oh man. I want to do so many things. I want to update my quality. I want a new camera. I want new lights. I want a new space. Like... I used to film behind a back, like a white backdrop. And if you guys prefer that, let me know. But I have a desk set up and then I have, I think you saw that like a couple of videos ago, you saw me behind my desk or vanity set up. I don't even, fun fact, I don't even do my makeup at that table anymore. I normally do it here cause this is where all my lights are. And I will show you a little tour of where my filming set up if you guys want to see that video let me know down in the comment section down below but I don't know I want this room is very small and I want every aspect of the room to be filmable like I want to just be able to plug in my lights and turn my camera on I don't want to have to do any decorating or setting up so my goal is to decorate and um make this room functional for everything I need for this channel. Um, that's a big goal because honey, I just realized that I have expensive taste. So me and my friend Kelly, we're going to go shopping, um, or like window shopping and like try to go to like thrift places to see what we can do in terms of that. Because if I could save a little bit of money, I, I want to. Mm -mm. all right i am talking way too much more it's, i'm talking more than i'm actually doing any work so i'm gonna go in and prime my skin as well i just have a lot of goals as far as this channel but i also want to do more like a lifestyle content um and I don't know if you got, I know I've had one person tell me to do a separate channel, but that is so much work, so much work. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I only work part-time, I work three days a week. Um, so I work three days a week and then the rest I'm home. So I used to be solely a stay-at-home mom, but now I work three days a week. Um, so I'm in the home a lot and I would love, I'm not going to show my kids, but I can show like decor videos. I can show like routines as far as clean with me's and cook with me's and all of that and entertaining. I would love to do that. I want to start a second channel all about like women feeling overwhelmed and how to be more balanced because I'm on that journey right now. That's actually my new year's resolution is to be more balanced and less overwhelmed. So I want to start, I was going to start a second channel in February. I said I was going to start a second channel, um, like last year, but it's a lot of work and I feel like 
maybe I need to grow more on this channel because I don't know if anybody's gonna watch somebody's daily life like vlog styles and things like that when they don't know the person and I don't have a lot of following because I am not like a um I'm not one of the like I'm not a social media person like I'm I'm totally not so that causes great issues in having this hobby slash job like I call it a hobby but this is a, this is a lot of work guys so it is work as well so I don't know you guys let me know um what do you think I should do in some of your goals I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette I um I'm going to show you guys what that looks like I don't know how I feel about this palette I used it twice already and I gotta tell you I'm not that impressed with it like I almost want to take it back I'm gonna do this look and the colors that drew me in like all the green colors kind of like in this vicinity that drew me in I'm finding a lot of difficulty using and I'm not going to tell you this is a bad palette or it's not worth it because maybe it's user user error, but I find being a woman of color, they're kind of muddy on me and like the transitions are like non-existent really, which kind of sucks because I need a, I need a transition, like a good one. And as of right now, there is none that I'm like drawn to you as far as transition shades in here well i'm gonna go in with a transition shade i'm gonna use my hula toasted bronzer and i'm gonna pop that in my crease i always lift my brow up because i have a slight hood in my eye and that's why i start like i always lift the brow and stick it in there but anyways yeah i have a lot of goals as far as YouTube but it's like all about execution too like I don't want to throw up BS online like I want it to be my best work but I also feel like to start you need to just start like I feel like people can really psych themselves out of doing things they're interested in just because they think they have to be perfect and you're not gonna, no matter how much money you spend on all the right equipment and all that, it, you're, it's not going to be perfect because you're not a professional at it. Well, you might be, but if you're not, it takes time. My phone is ringing. Please hold. Hello, sorry about that. I just had a phone call, but like I was saying, sometimes you need to start, just start and don't strive for perfection you need to just start and don't worry about if it's not perfect um because otherwise i feel like people can psych themselves out and that's kind of what i'm doing because my house is an older house i haven't decorated because this is not my forever home but i want to do more light i'm in the home like a good 75 percent of the time and it's like Ugh, I need to do something with this if I'm going to film in this house. So that's also another one of my goals is to like get my house to be something that I love and cherish. That's a home, not just a house. And right now it doesn't feel like a home. It feels like just sh like shelter at this point. And I've been so depressed and I'm like this is not what I want and da 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 but the, you could also having those thoughts you could really block your blessings like I am so blessed to have this home like some people don't have homes so I feel so blessed like I don't know depression can really trip up the mind I'm telling you you can block all your blessings and seem very ungrateful because I am grateful that for this home it's older but it's nice and I need to treat it as such so I want to 
focus on home decor and I want to film that but this is a beauty channel and I didn't really want it to just straight up be a beauty channel but that's just kind of what it en ended up being so I do have some like cook with me's I think I have a couple of vlogs up and they don't do that well and it could be because I'm recording on my cell phone or that's just not what people want to see on this channel so you guys let me know should I start a second channel and just start because I really want to but I'm in fear like I'll put all this work into it and nobody will watch and it's a lot of work doing this like it's a lot of preparation it's a lot of setup it's a lot of money and I don't get paid which is fine this is a hobby but if I feel like I'm not touching other people or helping someone else or engaging with other people I don't want to waste my time because my time is very very precious to me but I would love to show more lifestyle and things that I'm doing because I don't know I just feel such a pot like I just feel like a positive light as of 2020 like I just feel like I feel like I woke up and things just started to click so there's a lot of things that I do now that I didn't use to and I would love to film that if it could help someone that feels very overwhelmed or who is suffering from depression or just who needs motivation I would love that and honestly I want to see someone that looks like me doing those videos I know that sounds terrible but it's like like if I type in, you know, what to do when you're feeling overwhelmed or how to get organized or clean with me, it's like very few of us pop up in my suggestion box, like very few. So I want it. I don't know how to change that, but I want it to be changed. So I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you think. I think that's a enough blending. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go in next with, let me turn my palette around. I'm going to go in with this color next from the Natasha Denona palette. I will put all the colors that I use down below in the description box. I'm also going to pop that a little lower in the crease. I don't know guys I just have a lot of ideas and I ha like I said I have no idea how to execute those ideas I have no idea if you guys even want to see those things but you guys let me know down in the description no in the comment section down below um, also I know this might sound very shallow but I have beauty goals this year I want to hit like I just got off the phone I just went to the dermatologist today and I want to work on my skin so I uh, went to the dermatologist we have a plan set in motion um so I hope my skin gets better um with this new plan I also have decided that I'm going to get facials regularly like that's a lot of money but I'm investing in myself like it's okay I'm investing in myself I have invested in my husband my children my friends for years and I've completely let myself go and I'm not doing that anymore I work I can save I'm a good mother I'm a good budgeter well now you know I didn't used to be and I'm going to invest in myself I'm gonna invest in what makes me happy and I used to be a glamorous woman like our girl like since I could ever remember I loved having my nails done my hair done makeup but sometimes no makeup and my skin used to be like I ne my skin never used to look like this never I had clear skin I was the girl that got her brows done and put some clear lip gloss on and went about her day and can get compliments on her looks. Uh, I don't get that anymore, but I also have kind of let myself go as far as my weight and um, no more, no more. Um, I'm gonna consult a doctor about that as well. Um, 
I wanted to do weight loss surgery, but I know they're going to tell me that I need to do a program before I'm even a candidate for that. And I'm thinking about doing Weight Watchers or WW. Um, I've seen a lot of people that it works for, so I'm going to try it. Um, I have my doctor's appointment next week, so in two weeks, I think I'm going to start Weight Watchers because something's got to give. Like, I'm big, and it's not even as far as, like, vanity reasons that I want to lose weight. Like, my health has taken a turn. Before, I'm like, ooh, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm still cute, though, I'm thick, I'm just thick. No, I'm overweight and it's unhealthy and I want to be here for my kids it's not about looks because I used to think well I don't want to get emotional but as much weight as I've gained now I'm gonna have a lot of loose skin and I know I will be insecure about that so now it's not about the clothes or being fly it's a solely based on health for me so um, wish me luck on that journey and I would like um I could do that too if y'all were interested in something like that I could vlog that journey on a separate channel or I could do like one vlog a week on this channel and then maybe the next week do a lifestyle uh, video I don't know it's easy just to have everything on one channel for me but if you guys want it on a separate channel or if you guys want to see it I would do that for you so just let me know um, I have eczema and it you could probably see it like right in here because that's like where it's patchy and that's not the makeup at all it's not the primer it is my eczema I like that color all right I know I've already done kind of like an emerald green eye should I do gold or green? I'm gonna try this green and see how it works out. It hasn't been giving me the look that I want lately, but I can try it. This dog is really getting on my nerves. Oh, I like it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like I said, you guys, I don't know if I like this palette. I'm thinking about taking it back and getting the Melt Cosmetics palette. I'll put a picture up above because that has some greens in it. Like, I liked the greens out of this palette and I wanted something olive y. And this is olive, but I feel like I don't know what I'm doing as far as how to work with this formula because I feel like it's not as blendable as I want it to be. And as vibrant as I think it should be for the money that it cost but I don't own anything Natasha Denona and I wanted this to be my first palette but I don't know I'm not really happy with it and like I said that could just be me so I don't know you guys let me know Suggest should I keep it or take it back and I hate taking things back. Oh god I hate taking things back especially to Sephora. I used to work at Sephora So I don't want to talk about any Sephora employee in a wrong way Because they're just they just have a job to do you know But I don't know. I hate returning. I would exchange. I would get something else I probably would get that milk cosmetics palette um I don't know if I want the palette that I'll show you up here, I forget what it's called, or the Gemini palette, cause that is more like olive-y, which I'm going for, olive green, but I don't, <laughs> how many, how much would I use just an olive palette? You know, that's why I got this one, cause I'm like, ooh, it has so many different shades in here. That's cool, you know? So that's why I got it. But this is coming out pretty good. I like it. It's pretty cool. I lost my brush. I hate when you have a brush right in front of you and then you lose it. Um, I found it. I'm going to go back into my hula and kind of like diffuse everything 
out. I like a real diffused, blown out eyeshadow look. I mean, cut creases are cool. They're just not my style. So I'm going for this real blown out look. All right, I guess that's all for the eyes for now. We'll come back and finish them later. Now I'm gonna go in with this NARS um, foundation. It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I haven't tried it, so I'm gonna try this today. I don't know. I have high hopes, but I have oily skin, so we shall see how that works out for us because I have oily, oily skin. I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques buffing brush, I think that's what it is, buffing brush, and use this foundation. Y'all know I do not have to have full coverage, but my skin is very textured right now. It's kinda acting up on me, so we'll see how this goes. I already, oh, that is really, that's a lot of coverage. Holy smokes. That's a lot of coverage. Wow. That's cool. My hyperpigmentation is dark and that kind of, that really covered good. And I have a darker neck, but my chest is lighter. So I always like to match my chest and not my neck because if I wear like a v-neck you're gonna see it's gonna look like my face is darker than the rest of my body and i don't want that but holy crap that's it's pretty good i have a pimple right there don't you mind it that is nice coverage and i didn't use that much but i think it might look a little cakey but i can't see y'all 2020 alex is doing a lot of things health wise I went to the dermatologist. I'm going to the regular doctor to see about my weight. I need to see about my vision next because it's leaving me y'all. My I used to have 20-20 eyesight and I feel like every year my eyesight just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. No lie. I really like this you guys. I like the coverage. What do y'all think? It's pretty nice and I don't, I'm not a full coverage girl. So we'll see if about the wear now. If the wear is good, I might have to get the full size. The color is good, so I'm not gonna have to mix or anything. Going in with my Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. What is going on in your guys' life? Like comment down below. Like I said, your goals are wants your hopes and dreams i just want to say if you're scared don't be scared just get started like just do it go for it because it's not going to hurt you it can only help you you know and don't be scared about what other people are going to think who cares like who cares everybody's like they the people the masses like I could care less. The people that hurt, that can hurt me are people that I love, like family members. Like that's who I get bothered or hurt by, but because they know me, they love me, they know who I am. And if I've disappointed them or they don't find something that I'm doing right, that hurts, even though I don't really need anybody's approval to live my life. But when though there are people that really love you and know you and that you have hurt them or you have disappointed them, like that is what really gets to me. Like my kids' happiness gets to me if someone's hurt them or they're sick or something like that. That's what really gets to me. But most people that are cruel online, I don't really care about because they can't they're not gonna they cannot dictate my life Ooh, this is already transferring on this so i don't know about that let's hope that this stays on my face so like i said just get started don't let anybody dictate your life like 
if you don't have a support, if you don't have support, it's okay. You'll get support somewhere else. Like I don't have a lot of subscribers, but the ones that I do have are awesome and they support and they comment and they say lovely things. And that's very impactful to me and I appreciate it. So if you wanted to start your own channel, just start, just start, go ahead and start. I was scared to death and my first video is terrible. It's terrible, I still have it up. If you wanna watch it, I will show you the thumbnail here and I will link it down in my description box. If you wanna see a sad, sad person that does not know what they're doing, you could look at that video because when I started, I just wanted to start. I was really lost, but I knew I needed to change something in my life. And I knew I needed something just for me. So I got started and I don't regret it at all because I'm really passionate about this and I like it a lot and it's fun. It's hard, but fun. That was the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder everywhere else, lightly. I'm kind of just push that in. I'm gonna have another drink of my coffee. I like this reusable Starbucks mug or cup. It's so pretty. It's for Valentine's Day, I think. I'm gonna go in with uh, my Bobbi Brown bronzer because I love it. I use it all the time. You're probably sick of seeing this, but this color, I haven't found this color in anything else. So it's beautiful and I love it. And uh, honestly, I'm trying to use up, use it up. I have another one, but when I hit, when I use this completely up, I'll probably start using something else in my collection. Now I'm taking the toasted uh, hula bronzer and I'm gonna do more contouring with this because it's a little you could see it's like a little deeper this is more my contour and the other one was more bronze like for warmth this will give you more of a structure I really, really, really like that. Now I'm gonna go back into the eyes and do some lower line work. I'm gonna take that olive color and place it on my lower lash line with the same flat brush from Sephora. I'm gonna look up, this is probably like real pretty. I apologize for this face. All right, you guys, I put on some mascara and a little bit of eyeliner. I went in with um, my Ms. Your Big Waterproof on my top lash lashes and then the MAC Extended Play, Extended Play Giga Black. Ooh, that's a, lot, a tongue twister. Mascara on the bottom. And I also put in my Sephora Collection pencil, eyeliner pencil and cocoa on the um, lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with my um, hashtag lash stories and warm wishes. I'm going to be using these lashes. They're very pretty. This is the full volume and length throughout the entire lash that gives the eyes a more rounded effect. So I'm using these. And if you can't see these very well, I will put a picture up above if I can find one. All right. Sorry, you guys. I'm back. My best friend Kelly called me and I had to take that call because I haven't heard from her in a while. Um, I put my lashes on and that's it. Now we're going to go back to the face. I'm going to go in with highlighter. I'm using my Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's a split. It has Prosecco Pop blush and um it's prosecco pop highlighter and the um blush is pomplamoose or something like that i don't know but it's this i'm only going to use the highlight out of it so yes honey come through this is looking pretty good i tried this look like a day or so ago and it did not look good at all at all but I can tell you right now this foundation is very glowy 
because I haven't had it on that long and it's already starting to look a little glowy. I like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna do a, like a mix. I'm gonna go in with a uh, MAC Burnt Pepper blush. And now I'm gonna go in with my Buxom blush and Mykonos. I'm gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks. That's really pretty. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Gingerbread Girl. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm gonna wait for that to kind of dry and then I'm gonna go over with my lip liner. All right, it's kind of dragged down a little so I'm gonna go in and overline a little bit with my lip liner in Mesquite by Sephora Collection. All right, I'm going to set my face with the new Smashbox setting spray and Weightless. All right, um, I'm closing out this video. Some products I was pleasantly surprised by. Um, the eyebrow pencil, so good. This lip, love. Um, I like the coverage of the foundation, so that's good, but I don't know the wear. I'm on the fence about keeping this, but I think the eyes came out pretty good. What do you guys think? Um, should I keep it? Should I return it? You, you guys let me know down in the description box. I'm kind of upset about this, but I was trying to avoid my hair putting this top on which I didn't even avoid the hair and I normally put a scarf on over my face so there's no transfer on my clothes but I didn't do that this time which I should have and I got foundation or powder all over this top and this spray says it should be transfer proof that's that but everything else I really enjoyed I really enjoyed filming this kind of video um, I hope you guys liked it all right y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please 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 like thumbs up this video subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed hit that post notification bell button so it can inform you every time I upload a video all right Bye, everyone.